What's up guys, my name is Jamie and today, well I've got a little something special for you. Now since we just finished Pokemon White 2, I don't have another episode up for you right now, but uh, another one is on its way, it's in the making. So I just want to go over a few new things that we know about Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Now if you didn't know or if you were in completely in the dark, there's a new Pokemon generation coming out called Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Now there there have only been a few Pokemon released for this, but the ones that were released were the starters and two of the legendaries. All starters, all of the starters were the grass type, Chespin, the fire type, Finnekin, and the water type, Froakie. Now I'm not too sure on the pronunciation of those, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Sorry. Um, now I've got a few theories myself. These uh, these new starters have such interesting typing. I mean, what it looks like from Chespin is like maybe fighting or darker ground. I don't even know. But the cool thing is. Um, about Pokemon X and Y is that the battle system is com in complete and total 3D. The only downside to this is that it's on the 3DS. So those of you who don't have the 3DS, either go out and buy one or try to find an emulator that works with uh, without 3D, I guess. <laughs> Good luck with that. Anyways, uh, I've got a few theories myself on how the starters are actually working or what their secondary type will be because I they've only shown the starters they haven't shown any evolution of the starters or anything like that so without further ado here's my theory on what the Pokemon are all right let's get started with a visual here uh, let's <laughs> let's take it in a way that you guys probably will never see again how about some pixel art of the new of the new starters now on the top here we have Chespin he is the grass type not too sure at first glance he was the very first Pokemon I saw and I wasn't sure what was he is he fucking is he fucking fire what is he fire and grass oh my gosh that would be so cool and then I saw Fennekin and I was like Fennekin obviously it's yellow guys it's got to be electricity and fire and then I saw Froki and I was like guys this must be this must be water and ice or water and flying some something white something something neat um but now upon speculating the video that came with it which I'll put a link in the description so you guys can watch it too um I'm actually thinking that well I saw the part where Chesman slashes at the go lurk it looks like a shadow claw or something like a bite or something like a crunch. So I'm thinking that Chespin is part dark type. Now this is interesting because later on when it showed Fennekin, it showed kind of like a psychic wave when it when Fennekin was uh, battling against a Curlia, which could have been Curlia using some kind of psychic move, but I think it's Finnekin. And I think it's Finnekin's waves. I'm pretty sure it was Finnekin. It came out of Finnekin's mouth, whatever it was. So, I'm thinking that Finnekin must be part psychic type. Now, hold on. Before I lose you, I want to explain one more thing. Froki. Froki looked like it used... A whole, I don't even know. It was like close combat or something, I guess, on that uh, on that little pat rat. Some kind of overkill. Um, so I'm thinking that Froki must be fighting type. Now before you kind of accuse me of just throwing bullshit out left and right, saying, this one's a dark type, this one's a psychic type, let's look at the type advantages. Actually, no. Let's look at the history of Pokemon so far. Back in Generation 4, there was, what, Piplup? There was Charm... Uh, Charmander, wow. Chimchar and Turtwig. Now, when those grew up, 
Nintendo tried to do something different. They tried to make the starters be able to stand on their own, be able to stand their ground against their rival Pokemon. Like, let's say you have a Torterra, and the Torterra is versus uh, an Infernape. That's grass against fire. Obviously, fire is going to win. But Torterra is part ground type, so he can just use a ground type move on the Infernape and kill it. Same for um, an Empoleon versus a Torterra. How will you kill a Grass type? Well, it's easy. Just have uh, Empoleon use an Ice type move. So you kind of see what they did there, but it didn't really work out. I mean, the fighting, the fighting Infernape versus the Steel Empoleon was great, but Empoleon really didn't have a chance against Torterra, or um, there were a few flaws because. Empoleon uh, only needs an ice move to take down Torterra, but if it doesn't have an ice move, then it's screwed. I mean, it's not part ice type, so it doesn't make it su- so it doesn't make a stab super effective against Torterra. Yeah, it's faster, but it's not going to do maximum damage. And then there's Torterra versus Infernape. Now, Torterra is obviously slower. It's a freaking tortoise. So, there's that. There's a flaw there because obviously um, Infernape will just flamethrower or fire blast the Torterra and it'll be uh, it'll be dead as a doornail. So, let's come back here. Now, from the hints of the video and from uh, the knowledge of Nintendo's past, I believe that these three types are here to counteract the rival Pokemon's typing. Here, let me show you a visual. Chespin is a dark type, and Finnegan is a psychic type. So if a dark move is used on the psychic type, it'll be super effective. Not only that, the same will go for Finnegan using a psychic move on the fighting Froakie. See what I'm saying? Super effective. So it'll it kind of gives a defense against uh kind of a hopeless uh a hopeless battle like it was in red and blue when your rival chose Blastoise when you chose uh Charmander. I mean seriously, what a dick. Um so now and finally Froakie is fighting and Froakie the fighting beats Chespin's dark type. It's actually very simple and very complex at the same time. I bet it's going to be very difficult and I bet some Pokemon will be favored because of these typing. Um, like Finnegan, I, I kind of want to see a, f- uh, a Fire Psychic. I mean, I, I, I know there's Victini, but I mean, what if they make it bulky? Yeah, what if they make it even faster than Victini? What if they give it uh, some kind of special move like like they did for Victini, which was V-Create? I mean, my favorite right now is actually Chespin. It's strange, but <laughs> you probably don't want to hear about me. So let's move on, let's move on to something else. All right, so the next topic is actually the legendaries that were uh, that were now released. One is red, one is blue. The red one's name is Yvetel. It's kind of weird. It's Y-V-E-L-T-A-L. It's, it's strange. It's like a bird thing. It looks like it's dark and fucking flying type. I don't even... This thing looks weird to me. I, don't, I, I can't judge it now, but... Hopefully it'll be it'll turn out to be cool in the future. Uh, the next one is Xerneas or Xerneas. Um, it's blue and kind of has like antlers. It's a cheap blue knockoff of Arceus. So if you're looking for a rainbow pony, go ahead and uh, pick Rainbow Dash here because he's he's your man. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for me, guys. Uh, Thank you for listening in, and hopefully I've kind of given you guys some more information so that you can base some hypotheses of your own out. And uh, 
Hopefully, I will see you next time. I love all of your faces. Goodbye.